Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video, we started with a report creation in which we will use the new syntaxes. We took the requirement and in that requirement, based upon that requirement, we have taken the select option into that program for the creation date. Now we will go for writing of the queries. We will write the open SQL queries, but now we will go for new features. We will not go for old way because now we need to go for SAP ABAP new syntaxes. So we'll write the query into those phase only. Now, firstly, we will fetch that data from VBAK table. If you know previously what we are doing, firstly, we are going for a structure type. In that structure type, we will take the column VBELN. We will declare internal table work area. Then we will write a query to fetch that data and store into that internal table. Now we will not go for declaration of structure type internal table. We will directly start with the open SQL query and wherever possible there itself, we will go for inline data declaration. So how I will write my first query based upon new syntax. So now I will write select. We from VBAK table, I require only one column that is VBELN. If we have multiple columns, you all know multiple columns must be separated by comma. Now I am only going for one column that is VBELN. From which table? VBAK table. Now we will store into internal table. Into table. Now, I will not explicitly declare the internal table. Here itself, we will go for inline data declaration. You all know for inline data declaration, we need to use the keyword data. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore VBAK. Now, extremely important point, which is fully explained in the previous videos also. All the data objects in the open SQL query based upon new features must be prefixed with at the rate. They must be prefixed. All your data objects must be prefixed with at the rate. And you all know that data objects are called as host variables. So this LT underscore VBAK is your host variable. This VBAK is your guest variable. So this table is guest variable. This is your host variable. And why we put data? Because we are going for inline data declaration. Now I will go for where condition. What is the where condition? Where VBELN in. Now what is the input? Sorry. ER tag because we are going for date, not sales document number, where ER dat in S underscore ER dat. And you all know your select option is also a data object because we will give that date. So I will simply, simply prefixed with at the rate. So all your data objects must be prefixed with at the rate in the open SQL query based upon the new features. And here I used inline data declaration. Now I will simply check the syntax. So our first query is done. And you can see previously what you are doing. You are going for a structure type. You are going for an internal table declaration. Then after that, you are writing the query. Now we have not done any structure type. We have not declared the internal table work areas. We have directly written the query. Now I will go for move further. So this is your guest variable, host variable. Guest variable, host variable. Now we will fetch that data from VBAP table. Firstly, we will go for for all entries in only. We will learn, follow, we learn 
for all entries in then we will go for join also after that now if that data is in first internal table you all know whenever you are using for all entries in the internal table must be not initial or you can check for size sub rc also suppose i will go for this particular internal table i am writing if lt underscore vbak is not initial for every if there is a and if now we have written the if condition now in this particular if condition i will write the open sql query to fetch that data from vbap table previously what you were doing you are creating a structure type in that you have to take four columns postnar matnar kw me ng vr k me and you need to take vb eln also because that is common between both of them then you are declaring internal table work area now nothing will directly start with the writing of the query now how i will write i will write select now what is first column suppose vb eln now you all know in the new features the columns must be separated by comma so i am writing vb eln what is next column postnar what is next column matnar and what is next column your kwmeng and then next column vrkme so from vbap table we are fetching that data of five columns from vbap now i will store into internal table into table now you all know that all host variables must be prefixed with at the rate so i will write at the rate and we are going for inline data declaration so i will go for data suppose name of the internal table is lt underscore vbap now you all know what is the keyword for all entries a now for all entries in now we need to go for first internal table this internal table is a data object it means it should also be prefixed with at the rate now you are also understanding how we can write the query how we can use the new features in for all entries a now what is the common how we can give where vb eln is equal to lt underscore vb ak vb eln and yes it is also a data object so it must also be prefixed with at the rate so this is the way how we can write the query based upon the new features of open sql and now you can see there is no error everything is perfectly fine so you can see what we have done into this query firstly we have written the form firstly we have written the fields separated by comma first feature then after that this is your guest variable this is your host variable host variable must be prefixed with at the rate and we are going for inline data declaration for all entries in yes this internal table is also a data object so it must be prefixed with at the rate and yes first internal table vb eln it means it has the value so it is also a data object which must be prefixed with at the rate this is the way how you can write a query based upon the new features of open sql in which we are using for all entries a now i will simply activate now i will write the third query now what is the what is the relationship between the third, second and the third matnar of vbap is equal to matnar of makt table so i will write if lt underscore vbap is not initial for every if there is a and if now i will write the query from which table we will now go for makt table 
Now I will write select. Previously, what you are doing, if you want to go for MAKT, you need to declare a structure type in which you will take matinar column, MAKTX column. Now nothing. We'll then you will declare the internal table. We'll directly write the query itself. Now from MAKT table, we'll go for firstly matinar because we need to join based upon matinar. MAKTX. Select matinar or MAKTX from which table. Suppose I am going for MAKT table. Into table. Now we will go for inline data declaration. So I will write at the rate data. You all inline data, data declaration means data as host variable must be prefixed with at the rate. So I am using at the rate. Now I am going for LT underscore MAKT. Now I will write for all entries in. Now for all entries in what? LT underscore VBAT. Now I will go for where condition. Where matinar is equal to at the rate LT underscore VBAP matinar. So VBAP table matinar will go to matinar column of MAKT. It will fetch the data of these two columns and data will come into this internal table. I will add one point here into the where condition. You all know in MAKT table, then in this MAKT table, we have a language column. So it's good that we will pass the system language. Suppose currently I logged in into English language. So this system variable will go for English. Suppose someone is working in German. So at that time, it will only give the records of the German because customer always want to see because every customer will not understand all the languages. So we will pass language also in the where condition. So now I will go for and. You can see the language column. If I will go for this language, SPRAS, I will simply put SPRAS is equal to SI language. SI language, it means it is a system variable for the language. If I logged in into English, it will take English. If I logged in into German, it will take German. Now, this is also a host variable. So it must be prefixed with at the rate. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put comma. The columns must be separated by comma. Okay, I sorry, I forgot to put here also at the rate. All host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. Now I will simply activate the program up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we should have written three open SQL query based upon the new syntaxes because this is our target of the report itself that we will make maximum use of the new syntaxes. So we have written the first query based upon that. We have written the second query Based upon that, we have written the third query. And just the important points, what is there? All host variable prefixed with at the rate. This are, these are your guest variable. We used inline data declaration. Com columns are separated by comma. How you can use for all entries in? Whenever you are using for all entries in, they are also your host variables. Similarly, they are also your host variables. And while writing the third query, I used language also because customer always want to see those things which are into that particular language. So I put a and condition also. In the next video, we will see how we can go for loop, how you can go for read table. Anyways, we will not go for read table. You all know we have table expression. We will not go for append. We will use the value operator. Then we will go for ALV part after that. And maximum, wherever possible, we will go for new syntaxes. So that's it. 
in this video. Thank you.